Maker to make it on to the shores of the southeastern United States. We wanted to know if tech wind researchers would be doing what they so often do, and that's to head toward the storm while everyone else evacuates. KMAX Nicolette Perdomo spoke to the team today. Nicolette, they just got back from Hurricane Florence. Brian, although the Texas Tech Hurricane Research Team won't be heading down for Hurricane Michael, they have gathered tremendous research and data from Florence. These types of trips can take more than two weeks. This is the first time we had this many wind measurements that we were able to deploy in a hurricane. The Texas Tech National Wind Institute just returned from Hurricane Florence. They deploy stick nets, which bring in data of wind measurements. We use the platform sort of deployed all along the landfall region of the hurricane so that we can better understand what the hurricane wind field looks like. The goal to see how much damage these winds can cause, especially to homes and businesses. We're trying to provide more and more actual measurements um, to help you know, better improve building codes and make sure that, that the way they are, are are representative of what hurricane winds really look like. For the past 20 years, the project and technology continues to grow. When I first came here, there was hardly any. They were measuring pressures on buildings, and since then, they've, they go to hurricanes, tornadoes. Deployment has to be thought through. Hearth says there's always a potential of damaging or losing equipment. There's a lot of logistics that go into our deployments. First of all, we're in West Texas. It would take us a day and a half to get to the Florida Panhandle. And then to deploy all of our platforms takes about another day, day and a half. Hearth says there could be potential to deploy again if another high impact hurricane hits the U.S. Brian, he says if something happens in Texas, they will always go do research.